What's up guys, it's Dev Gaming here, bringing you a look at Escape Plan, a game that was originally uh, released for the PlayStation Vita, uh, back when that was first released a year or two ago. Um, but now it has been released on the PlayStation 4. Um, mainly, I presume, for the fact that the PlayStation 4's DualShock has a touchpad on it, which this game use the touchpad quite a bit on its Vita uh, version. Now Escape Plan, if you haven't played it, is a puzzler game and basically all you need to do is get your character from the start to the end. That's it. Um, and what you do is you move your cursor around and you press either X to push which is what we're going to do on Lil here to wake him up or you can press with the right trick uh, R2 sorry pushes things which if I press X on this sign a couple of times it'll fall down and pressing X as you can see pushes and R2 uh, like pulls things towards you and then you've also got the touchpad which you can use to um, do a, a few different things and you've also got the D-pad to move, start the character moving left or right. So we'll knock on the door to get it to open, and then we'll exit. And as you can see, each level, once you've finished, is rated out of three stars, depending on how fast uh, you completed it, and also how many button presses it took you to, uh, to complete the level. And... Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, it, it, it's a game that uh, was really the only, along with Uncharted Golden Abyss, it's the only other game that I thought actually looked pretty good for the Vita, uh, which is why I never got one. And plus, I know if I got a, the handheld, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> I'll probably play it for five minutes and just forget about it. Um, but yeah, this was, this was one of two games that I actually thought looked good for the Vita, so I'm really glad that they bought this out for the uh, for the PS4. We'll push that brick out of the way, and there we go. That's the only obstacle in this room, and then we can just exit to the right. Now, as you can see, when we get into the new level, uh, in the top left, we have a picture of Lil, and that 30 up there is how many times I've died, which... Uh, we'll make him die now. <laughs> Somehow tripping over a brick kills him. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that is that and you can kind of see it. Uh, he actually has the number of deaths on his uh, stomach. Which is quite weird. So we'll get to Lil. Uh, no, this is Lil. Oh, there's Large in the background there. Just going past. We'll save him and get him out of the cage in a second. Um, I don't know which level it is. But yeah, it's, it's very simple gameplay for this game, and um, yeah, I don't know what else really to say. If you like puzzling games like this, um, it's certainly one that you'll enjoy, because um, <laughs> it's good. It's pretty simple to start with, but it can get pretty tricky. I mean, I haven't been able to get very far in the game right now. Um, because it had like, whoa, that was close. So like I said, it, get, it gets pretty difficult. Uh, now I bought the bundle pack that was on the uh, the PlayStation Store, which came with all the DLC. Oh, here's, a, here's another feature that's in a few levels. Is that with Lil, uh, you can get coffee, and now this makes it really hot, uh, obviously, because it's boiling coffee. And you can press circle, and it will make him speed forward like that to avoid obstacles and another thing with Lil uh, you can also grab a helium you can go up to a helium tank suck on it and uh, and uh, get really big and float up in the air and with large which is knocking onto this conveyor belt to make him move off to the right and with large, uh, he can break through uh, wooden blocks. Uh, so if there's a barrier blocking the door, 
you press circle when you'll bust through it or if there's you know wooden blocks on the ground covering a hole then you press circle and it'll do a butt stomp and it'll break through it but as you can tell uh, we were in prison basically and uh, we are escaping that's really all I know obviously this is the guy that captured us somehow but I don't know how it doesn't really explain well that's really as far as I've gone I've gone hugely far into the game if we back out quick uh, you'll see how far I've gone if I go back onto uh, oh, no, on start, section select. So we've got all those, we've got, that was the section I just started. Factory section, yeah, but there you go, see, I only got onto the third section so far out of uh, six, seven, eight, eight sections. And then these three are the DLCs, which I, like I said earlier, I got the bundle pack, uh, which gives you new levels and which um, I read that it's 21 levels per DLC which is pretty sweet uh, but also with I don't know if it was one of the DLCs that bought this in but there's a challenge mode one for doing well what you should be doing during the main playthrough anyway uh, which is getting through the level with the least amount of uh, button presses as possible and then you've got Clean Run, which is the complete the entire game in less than 20 deaths. Which is, as you can see right there, it says combined between Lil and Large. That's going to be pretty difficult. Uh, also, what you can do is, no, that's what I just went on. You can also change uh, what Lil and Large are wearing. As you see there, the original. We've got God there, Luchador. And then you have to get the rest of the three stars and complete more of the levels to unlock the rest. Now one thing that I noticed before I end the video, one thing I noticed when I was looking at trophies for something else, uh, I went on to the escape plan trophies and as you can see here, now on the PS4 the DLC trophies are in different sections which is really really cool uh, so if we go on to this DLC as you can see there were only four trophies in this DLC so that's really really cool that they're not all mixed in one huge list uh, they're on their own separate sections so that's really really nice um, but yeah other than that uh, I don't know what else, what else to say the game so far is pretty good um, if you like these type of puzzlers then I think you're gonna really like it and um, yeah uh, let's let's see if I can find one with the helium uh, this one with the fan you have to use the touchpad to make circles uh, to make the fan go uh, which one I actually think this one has a thing that large can do, which is to break through uh, the wooden planks. Yeah, here we go. So we got wooden planks that we have to break through. So you, you push this down, and then you, you you use large to go over the planks. Press circle. It'll do a butt stomp, and it'll fall through, and that's the level. So it's really cool. Uh, it does get pretty difficult to figure out how to do stuff and you will, like you've seen with the lives for Lil and Large here, you will die over and over again. Um, but you know, you can just replay the level to, uh, you know, once you figure it out what you, what you need to do, uh, you can just replay the level before moving on to the next one and uh, get the three stars, which is really nice. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. That was Escape Plan, pretty good game like I've been saying, uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one.